Minari from Blizz Planet. Today we'll be talking to Josh Mosquera with uh, Diablo 3. He is the lead designer for Diablo 3 on consoles. Uh, first off, what are some of the major changes in store for the console version from the PC version? You know, so when we started thinking about how do you take, you know, the granddaddy of you know, action RPGs, right, and you know, bringing that awesome experience to the console, it's really important for us that from the ground up, this felt like it was the translation was na felt native to the console. So I think the biggest biggest change is the fact that you play it by using a, a controller, right? And direct control really changes the, the the experience. It really makes it very visceral, very immediate. You know, it's it's you're no longer chasing your cursor at the edge of the screen. You are the barbarian, and every time you smash either a skeleton or a barrel or whatever, it's in the controller rumbles. There's this awesome connection. It's like you are there, and I think that's when when people finally get down, sit down, and play it on the couch. I think that's a, one of the things that's really going to jump out and say like this feels pretty awesome. Uh, will the console version have an auction house? So uh, yeah, so right now there's there's no auction house on on the console, and again that was it's a, a very big decision on on our part, and what really motivated that was when we started talking about doing our own research in, in terms of the ecosystems between PC and console, and when we talked to Sony, there's a significant number of consoles that are not connected to the to the internet, right? And because of that, we felt that the best way to bring, you know, the Diablo experience to you know all the console players is to offer an offline mode. So, uh, in the Nintendo 64 version of StarCraft, there was a secret mission that wasn't available on the PC. Do you see anything like that happening for Diablo 3? Well, you know, I don't want to spoil anything, but I, I think really what, you know, our focus has been really sort of translating that that experience. And you know, we've made a, bun a bunch of changes, you know, some you know, some more subtle, like, you know, we brought in the camera, but, you know, one of the things we're really working on, Matthew Berger, is our, one of our senior designers, is he's looking at all the, the, all the end of act boss fights and how do we make them look and feel like awesome console boss fights, so. Um, why was the decision made to allow offline for console as opposed to always online for PC? I think we covered that already. We covered that, but again, it's, it's the, the ecosystems are very different, right? And you know, you know, a lot of console players like they'll they'll move the console around from you know, the living room to the bedroom, and they're not always they're not always connected, right? So we felt it was important for them to be able to play on their couch and have fun. Uh, are there any differences between the PC and console version when it comes to saving game progress and checkpoints? No, it's 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 using the exact same system. Right. Uh, will you be able to take the characters you play offline to online games? Yeah, absolutely. There's, there's no there's no sort of you know, Diablo 2 distinction between online and offline. It's like you'll be able to use the same character offline or online. Will players be able to buy and download Diablo 3 from the PlayStation Store? Oh, that's a great question. I don't... I, I, I'm not the right person to ask in terms of what our, what our, our, our plans are for that. So. Uh, what challenges did you face remaking the Diablo user interface to accommodate gameplay? That's a, that's a good question, and we really spent, I think, the better part of the last year, um, well, at least I've spent the better part of the last year driving our UI programmers and artists in, insane by uh, constantly changing it. But we thought it was super important that, you know, we don't want to dumb down the game, we don't want to simplify it, right? What we need to do is we need to streamline the experience so that players can like at their own pace, decide how much information they, they want to get. So I think one of the big changes is, you know, we went away from the grid-based paper doll system, because that works fantastic when you have a mouse and keyboard, right? On a controller, I think you really want to use more, you, you know, you want to use the sticks, you know, so you want to use a radial menu. We also grouped all the, all the items into different categories, and this allows players to sort of quickly at a glance see what items I have, what weapons I have in my, in my weapon slot, and being able to do a quick compare. If you see a bunch of, you know, red, you know, down arrows is probably not good. You see a bunch of green, you can just equip it right then and there. Or if you want to really sort of do a line by line comparison with the with the, for the affixes, you press a square button and then you get both items side by side, and you can compare. Sounds like a lot of thought has gone into that. Great. Let's see. Is there any information yet on how Diablo 3 will function with the DualShock 4 controller? The, the DualShock 4 controller? Oh, um, again, you know, we're really focusing on on the you know. The, 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 this DualShock first, I'm making sure it's really awesome. But you know, once and again, it was really important for us that really we we work on you know we worked on the PC game first to make sure that was awesome, and then we started working on PC and uh, uh, PS3 and getting that awesome. So I'm looking forward to you know eventually you know getting my hands on DualShock 4 and seeing what kind of crazy awesome stuff I can do with it. 
so therefore the next question that they sent with me was, will there be any differences between the PS3 and the PS4 version? And that's not even something that you're touching on yet. Stay tuned. Uh, how will patching work on the console versions? Sony's been really awesome. They understand that part of the magic of, of a Blizzard experience is the way we support our games. That they're living products. So, uh, you know, been super supportive and, you know, we'll be able to do title updates, you know, and, you know, sort of make sure that the game constantly, you know, evolves and, you know, that it's important for us that our console players feel like they're still part of the big Blizzard family and that they feel included in, in terms of the way we patch the game. Um, another question on patches. Will you be keeping up on the same pace with the PC patches? Um, and so it's a really good question. So um, I think one of the, so a lot of benefits of having a staggered development, you know, uh, I think one of them is that, well, when we, when we ship on console, you know, we'll be getting, you know, all the, you know, almost a, a year's worth of patching on, on, on the PC. So, right, we'll get everything up to 107, you know, and, and at some point we'll need to, we need to split. But even, you know, looking forward is, you know, we want to make sure that, when we patch the game on PC, that it feels it's the right thing to do on PC, and then we'll look at all those changes and decide which changes we want to bring to console on the case-by-case -case basis. Uh, will there be any incentives that might entice a player that owns the PC version to buy the console version? So again, I don't have any details in, 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 in terms of like goodies or incentives, but I, I think the the big thing for me, and, and and I spend many many a night playing the game, is sitting down on your couch. You know, playing with four other friends on your big screen. It's like the experience is so different. It's it's so much fun. Like, you know, we say a lot on PC that you know we really feel Diablo is a very social, cooperative experience, and that that it feels so great to be able to have you know four friends, you know, having fun, you know, you know, killing the skeleton king or you know, ganging off on on Diablo. It really feels like a such a great console party experience. Right, I can understand that. I have a nine-year-old son who's looking forward to playing. When we're in different rooms, it's not the same, sitting together on the couch. It's, it's, I play with my daughters that way, and, and it really, it's, uh, it's so much fun. Uh, have you been looking at any games uh, similar to the genre for inspiration on how Diablo 3 would work on consoles, or have you been kind of taking your own lead? No, you know, at Blizzard, we're gamers, so you know, we've played a lot, of, a lot of games, and you know, when we started putting together the console team, I mean, we really, we really started forming that team, you know, but a year before uh, Diablo shipped on on PC, and you know, myself and Julia, who's our producer, and Norbert, who's our lead programmer, like we all, we were all hired from external to Blizzard to you know help build the team, and you know, for the better part of that year, as there, you know, the PC team is you know making an awesome PC game, we had a little office with a living room simulator, and we played a ton of games, and then we were sort of really figuring out like. You know what games are doing things right, and how can we learn? And you know, so we played a we played a whole bunch of different games. So. And then our last question: uh, What class on the console version do you think plays differently the most uh, from the PC version, and why? That's a great question, and I would say they all play different. You know, because we went in, every single skill has been tweaked in some way to make sure it feels fantastic on on on, on the controller, right? So that sounds great. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you.